Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Let's Play of uh, Mechanical Mastery. So, between episodes, I went ahead and fixed up the platforms. So, I made a little bit of a different material for the bridge in the middle. We've got a little bit of border between the two places now. Helps me out with the symmetry, because it was hard to tell when the, this was part of it. So, yeah. Um, I moved elevators for both platforms, and I made the platform downstairs as well. And I extended the dirt down to be two levels so that everything has two levels below the floor in case you dig into the floor for some reason and don't want to fall in the void. Uh, because I did that, I was able to add this water pool over here for my infinite water supply. Before I added it down there, I was trying to do it over here, but there was no floor down there, so it just fell through. I didn't really like the way that worked. So what are we going to do in this episode? Um... Well, I think it's time to change our power system. So this has been working well, and it's going fine, but we're going to need to have a lot more power to upgrade all of our machines and automate uh, Stage 2. So there is a quest in Tier 2 to get a Magma Crucible. This will let us generate lava. Now we can get uh, half a bucket of lava from one netherrack. Netherrack costs one EMC. So for two EMC, we can generate a bucket of lava, and that bucket of lava will give us 100,000 redstone flux, whereas uh, we're getting 32 EMC for each of these logs. We get six planks from that and get about 3,000 RF per plank. So we're going to get like 25 times as much power for a 16th of the EMC. The math is rough, but, you know, it's going to be a lot better. So the power per EMC ratio is going to be a lot better anyway. So we can also spam those a little bit and enhance our power a little bit. So let's start on that. Let's get a magma crucible. We need some nether bricks. We need some invar gears. Uh, what am I out of? Iron nuggets? Always out of iron nuggets. Okay, two invar gears, a redstone guy, a tin gear, and a machine frame guy. And there we go. Magma crucible. And we get a bucket of lava for completing that quest. All right, this guy will generate a ton of lava even without any upgrades. So he should be able to do very well for power. So I'm thinking the first thing I want to do is set up a laser IO node for him. And we will transfer the power down, or transfer the lava down uh, to our sub-platform. So let's start by getting an energy cable over here. And eventually it will replace all of these energy cables. But for now, this is fine. Okay, so let's just toss in a stack of netherrack. There we go. And he'll start cooking up lava. Now I want to get a mechanism tank. These guys right here, right here. Basic fluid tank. All right. So I want to get two laser IO nodes. And if we had two of those requires two of these guys. We could move between the magmatic dynamos that we're going to build to burn the lava and this tank. And then we'll use that pipe from uh, Mechanism to dump the lava in there. So the first thing I want to do is get a couple of fluid cards to transfer the lava from the what is that guy called? The Magma Crucible into into this basic fluid tank. We're going to need the laser wrench now because we have to link these two nodes. So let's get a laser wrench. There we go. And it goes down kind of far. I may have to set something up um, on the ceiling to link the nodes together, but it should be mostly okay. So let's start by 
taking this guy downstairs somehow. So, yeah, I'm almost sure I'm going to need to link him to a laser node just because of how far of a distance it is. Let me get one of those real quick. A laser connector. I'm out of logic chips. Um, okay, hang on. Let's get a logic chip. Just need a couple of them real quick. Yep, let me borrow that. There we go. There's my logic chips. Now I can make one more of these laser connectors. And my plan is to put them in the middle of the ceiling. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is the center. Oh, by the way, I, I died. Uh, remember I told you the crushing wheels can crush you? Yeah, they can. And it's hard to get out. It's almost impossible when there's a conveyor belt pushing you in the crushing wheels. That's kind of the whole point of the system to destroy things. And it killed me. But it's fine. Uh, you know, my drainage was right there. So not a big deal, but lost some experience. Uh, I like to use that for enchanting at some point. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so I want this guy, like, right here. Um, that's not quite right. There we go. So I'm going to shift on him. Ouch. And then we're going to bind him with this guy. Okay, there we go. He's bound. And now we're going to go downstairs, and we're going to put them between this guy and something else down here. So I'm thinking we're eventually going to have um, magmatic dynamos like all the way over here or something like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here will be the center dynamo. We're going to have a pipe on top of him. And then I assume the tank will be on top of that. So there's where the tank's going to be. And then I think the laser node's going to be there. So let's see if this works. I may rearrange this, but, you know, we'll figure it out. It's just for testing purposes. So I want you to be an insert on channel 1. And then we'll have the other guy be an extract on channel 1. And that should move the lava from the magma uh, crucible to the chest down there. So you on the south? Huh. Alright, south side. Uh, you are an extract on channel 1. And you need to be an output to the back. And there we go. Lava's going somewhere. And there we are. Lava in the tank. Um... He looks weird there. I'm, I may move him, but let's go make the power gen first, and then we'll decide what to do with that. So let's start by getting magmatic dynamos, which can convert lava into fuel. This will be a good mid-game source of energy, given how cheap it is. We'll make, like, probably five of these to get started, but I'm just going to make one right now to figure out how I want the system to go. So, magmatic dynamo. I've got some of that mechanism, mechanical pipe. So, this is how I envision that going. And then we're going to have these going out. And then we'll have the energy cube, like, right here or something. And then we'll uh, run cables back up to the top. Or we'll do laser I.O. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. We'll do something with that. Got a weird graphical glitch. I don't know if you can see there or not. It's just kind of spotting sometimes. Just kind of putting a little square there. Okay, so uh, if we hit you with a configurator. Uh, there we go. So now you get lava and you generate power. Cool. That's a good start. Let's go ahead and move this guy. Everything will stop, but that's okay. We don't need the machines to be going right now. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this guy off. And we'll 
turn this guy off and I am trapped in a hole. <laughs> um, okay, let's get out of here somehow. Okay, so we're going to bring this guy downstairs. Place him, I don't know, right here. And then all we have to do is run pipes back upstairs. I think we're going to need more energy cables. Almost certainly going to need more energy cables. So let's see here. Um, I'm a little concerned to dig in the floor. If I hit the wrong thing, I'll bite that guy. Four, five, six. So let's dig over here. Yeah, I feel like, oh, this is my guy. And he is still there somehow. Good for you, buddy. You're a survivor. All right, so... Yeah, this would have been the perfect place to go down. Put that laser I.O. node there. So we'll just go one over. And we'll get the power from there. Okay, that all seems fine. All we need are more of those cables. And then we'll need more mag mag generators. And that should take care of things. All right, so let's get, um, I want some more of these. I don't have any more, right? No, I don't see any more. Okay, so let's get, I don't know, we can get 12 more, is that it? Yeah, that's all we can get right now. That might be enough. Let's see, uh, I don't see that being enough. Let's, let's make more. Let's make more. Let's make one more set. What are we missing? These guys? Okay. All right. That looks like it ought to work. So I'm going to go over from here. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's take that out. All right, there we go. So now machine should be powering again. The power is going to drop rapidly because we're filling our machine buffers back up and this guy cannot keep up with all of this. And we will get rid of the wires at some point. So let's start by getting rid of this and this and this. And all of the pipes can go away. And you can go away and you can go away. Don't need the sawmill here anymore. Okay. That was a good start for this. I'll put the floor back shortly. We can uh, move this guy as well. Get rid of him. And him. Lots and lots of junk. These things seem to retain their power, so if you... Uh, they'll st stack your inventory, but you can um, just... stack them to clear out their configuration, I think. All right. We've got plenty of cables now. Where is my... Let's see here. I don't have any cobblestone on me. I want some cobblestone to fix the floor. It is a little bit odd when you run right through the cable. I mean, I can assume he's like stepping over the cable or something, but it just seems a little bit odd. Okay, those we can't take down. All right, let's make some more magmatic dynamos. So I need, I want uh, four more of those.
Okay. We're going to need some augments for them. Let's take the Sterling Dynamos. I'll just take their augments out of those. We need one more of these. I need some more power cables to hook them up. And we need more lava, so we need more mechanical pipes. All right, there we go. Lava's going in there. Uh, oh, we don't have any netherrack. We'll have to make netherrack more. Um, let's see here. Where's my grid guy? Netherrack. Okay. For now, lava him. Let's go make a hardened upgrade. All right, there we go. So all five of them will be upgraded now. Okay, so his power is stable, or I think it will be anyway. And all we have to do now is make sure he keeps receiving uh, netherrack. And we can do that by putting him on top and making sure that he inputs netherrack. I believe it will eventually backstop because he's dumping everything right now but he should be uh, fast enough to keep up with this system. And if I'm wrong about that, yeah, he, he's backfilling right over here. So eventually um, he will just keep going. And he doesn't need to back stuff on Netherrack. He only needs to um, have enough to keep going. So this all looks good right now. I think our power setup is updated then. So I will go and clean up the rest of these floors in a minute. And yeah, that will help us out uh, for quite a while on power. So what do I want to do uh, now that I have that? Well, one of the things that I want to make sure that we do is start doing more with laser IO for the automation stuff. So. Let's see if we can just put this sawdust anywhere. I don't know where it goes right now. Um, yeah, in fact, you can go away. I want to transfer all the power with laser I.O. So basically, what we're going to do is set up a bigger energy buffer right in the middle. And we'll have all of these guys output to this. Ah, that's what I was missing. This guy should be on top here. That way we can have power transferring with laser ion nodes in the same node as his fluid tank. I thought that looked not quite right, but it's fine for the moment. All right. So to do that, we're going to need to get into mechanism uh, because I want an energy cube. I'd like to get um, this one, the elite energy cube. This will store 25 million redstone flux or forward energy and that will supply us for quite some time to do that we're going to need some of these reinforced alloys some of these energy tablets which requires infused alloy so to get that we need a metallurgic infuser and that's basically all we need to craft this cube is a metallurgic infuser all the steps that go down from that are just more of that a little bit of steel for the original casing. But that's what I think we'll do in the next episode is finish working on this power construction and add in some mechanism machines. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. That, that, that's two buttons, just in case you were curious, that the like and subscribe button, so hit them both. The bell icon, do what you want. I don't know. I get enough notifications, but hey, if you want to see all my videos, you need to do that too. I post occasionally. I will see you next time.